What's up guys, welcome back to another episode with Lolos and more. Now today, um, I am swapping out my, my check valves that are right there. Um, for those that haven't watched one of my first videos, when, um, when you hit your up switch for whatever cylinder, it'll go up through this port right here, it'll go up shoot through here um, and go to the cylinder when you hit the down switch this block right here close, opens up and lets the fluid flow back through a, a return hose that will be connected right here it'll go to right here go through the down the slowdown and back in to the block and into the tank so um, for those guys that don't know how to work on their low riders to be like wait a minute how the hell does this come off there's no way this thing can come off well there is so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna uh, take off the valve and after that I'm gonna take off this whole stem right here all together and then from there I can spin the dump off and then I'm going to take off the check valve last and all you need is two crescent wrenches or adjustable wrenches what do you want to call it so let's get started so like I said first first I'm going to take off the slowdown valve itself not the whole entire valve but the little valve itself okay. and then twist it off gonna get hard you might end up needing some vice grips to finish taking off the Valve itself. There you go. The valve itself is out of the chamber of the slowdown. So now I'm going to take out this whole stem. This this little fitting right here should clear the block. If it doesn't, then, I, then I'll uh, take off the, this fitting off by itself, and then I can take off the whole thing. Let's see if it clears. And it clears. In this video, I'm not going to put everything back together because I don't have Teflon tape with me. But in reality, all you got to do is this in reverse. But I think taking it off, showing you guys, is better. Anyways, that way you have a, an idea how this whole assembly comes off. There you go. I got the whole thing off. Now I'm gonna take off the dump itself, and then I'll take off the check valve. So it's good to have big crescent wrenches that can fit over the block of the dump, like I don't right now. Ok, 
okay if you don't have a big crescent wrench then you'll need a big ass it's just a wrench but I don't want to scratch up my dope block that bad so I'll just put a towel over it wrench on check valve itself because it's probably better to take the thumb off of the check valve now then Make sure that you take off your little air stem. Also, that might help you guys out. So, got the piece out that I needed off. Now, to take off the check valve. It's pretty much self-explanatory. It's easier if you have a bench with a vice. So you can just put this on the vice and take off your check valve. I'm gonna take that off real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so without a, a bench, vice bench, whatever, all I did was use a pipe wrench and then took it off with the crescent wrench. So it is very crucial that you put these on the correct way fortunately see this one this one actually has an arrow it tells you the flow of the oil so it only goes one direction it cannot go another way that's why it's a check valve it stops the oil from going in now I know one of my check valves which would be from this pump which is actually this one I know this check valve is bad because uh, when I raise the rear within time one side goes down so, I'm putting in this nice new little check valve. It does not have an indicator. You know, but this is an old, old check valve. I don't know how old it is because I know when I bought some CCE competition pumps back in 2007, the check valves did not have an indicator. So, the best way to know which way you're your uh, check valves go is see that ball right there you have to see that ball that ball that means this end of the check valve goes into the block goes into the block that way okay you have to be able to see that ball that ball faces down into the block you see you see that that goes that stops the oil from going back in. So that's the top way. So it's very crucial that you put these on the correct way. So there's the ball right there. Put into the block. 
that's the way it goes and then pretty much well, I don't have like I said I don't have Teflon tape so you're gonna have to I'm, I'm gonna have to put it back together later but really it's all you put it back together in reverse so I mean, it's not hard it's easy to do anybody can do it so I hope my videos help I know there's not very much videos out there on how to's on certain things so hopefully I'm helping you guys out quite a bit and I do answer the comments you guys leave so I try and get back to you guys as soon as I possible can so that wraps it up for today I'm just getting ready for the summer getting ready for my car show I'm gonna be swapping out my backings on on my rear pumps I got my piston taken apart I'm gonna paint the tank so that's what I'm doing right now but I forgot to get Teflon tape from the garage I'm not going back there today anyways I'm gonna get my lines redone it's here like that but that's it but hopefully that re this video has helped you guys um, make sure to leave comments let me know what you guys want to see next. I do have a couple of plans for videos coming up in the next couple of weeks. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon so it notifies you guys every time I know, you know, upload. So uh, catch you guys next time. Peace.